Welcome to Medication Monday. This is where we go over a different EMT drug that we administer out in the field. We do it specifically in EMT drug card format. As always, follow your local protocol and scope of practice. Enjoy. Today's medication is called enalapril, and enalapril is also known by its brand name, which is Vasotec. Enalapril is an ACE inhibitor or an angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor. Your mechanism of action is that it blocks the conversion of angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2 in the lungs. And as we know, angiotensin 2 causes vasoconstriction and a rise in blood pressure. So by blocking angiotensin 2, we reduce vasoconstriction and reduce blood pressure. Your indication, specifically in the 911 EMS setting, is going to be CHF exacerbation, specifically specifically with pulmonary edema. Now, in the hospital setting, you will see enalapril given for extreme hypertension, but as we know, our patients who have CHF exacerbation and pulmonary edema typically present hypertensive, but that is not why we administer this medication in the field. As always, before we get into dosages, always abide by your local protocol and stay within your scope of practice. Your dose is going to be 1.25 milligrams slow IV or IO push, and it is not recommended in pediatrics. Contraindications, hypotension, pregnancy, children or pediatrics, and hypersensitivity to ACE inhibitors. Adverse reactions that could occur with enalapril are hypotension, dry cough, hyperkalemia, Stevens-Johnson syndrome, and dizziness, and also renal complications. Going into a drug interaction of enalapril, enalapril does cause hyperkalemia, so it shouldn't be given when the patient already takes potassium or is possibly already hyperkalemic. Obviously, this can be hard to know out in the 911 EMS setting because we don't have access to lab values and things like that. But obviously ask your patient the right questions. Are they a dialysis patient? Have they skipped appointments lately? Is the 12 lead leading us to believe that they're hyperkalemic? Just take all this into account and don't administer it if you're suspecting that they are hyperkalemic already. How it's supplied, two and a half milligram in two milliliter vial. A few side notes about enalapril. You want to use with caution in patients with renal or hepatic dysfunction. And also remember to get a thorough medical history History, including whatever medications they're on prior to administration, mainly because enalapril can interact with other medications. Many times in the 911 EMS setting, enalapril is administered in conjunction with oxygen via CPAP, nitroglycerin, and possibly Lasix. As always, remember to abide by your local protocol and stay within your scope of practice. This video is purely informational for those in the EMS field and never meant to be used in the place of professional medical advice, local protocol, or formal education. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week.